guys, welcome back. So this came in the mail today and what better, okay, I already opened it, but I wanted to show you guys what's in my Ipsy bag in case you're kind of having doubts if you wanted to subscribe to Ipsy, if it's worth it, if I liked it. It's my first one ever. Um, I was super excited, you know, like you wait by the mail, like when you're, when you have a delivery coming. But yeah, um, on like Instagram, YouTube or whatever, um, everyone got theirs like last week, but I got mine on, today's the 13th, so I got mine today. Um, it kind of came a little bit late, but again, I was kind of happy that I was able to get off the wait list when I first subscribed to it, so I'm happy. I already opened it and used some of the products but let's go inside I just wanted like to use them so I could talk to you about the products and know like what I'm talking about not just like oh first time trying it type of thing anyways it comes with this little postcard that says hashtag ipsy much love and then says what your squad goals are made of and then it comes with like the picture of the little um, makeup bag that it comes inside and then the back it's like this iPhone it's like a conversation between two friends about their ipsy bags there goes that and then what we've been waiting for my very first ipsy bag so uh, I did a lot of um searching you know because I was so excited about my bag so I went on YouTube I went on Instagram under the hashtag ipsy I searched to the tag pictures and a lot of people were talking about how they expected February Ipsy Bag to be Valentine's Day thing themed, but it's not. It's like this jean with like orange outlining, which I mean, I don't mind it not being Valentine's, but it would be nice if it was. Um, yeah. And then it has this little thing right here. It's like little, oh, I don't know. Oh. I was showing it to the wrong side of the camera. This little Ipsy heart, which I guess is kind of Valentine's, but I mean, it would have been nice if like the orange, instead of orange, it was pink or like red, more Valentine's theme, but what are we gonna do about it? Let's open this. I'm just gonna get it random. Okay, so I have never before um, heard about this makeup, ooh came with like the little plastic just well so I've never heard about this brand before but it's a highlighter and it is in the shade bubbly Ooh. okay sorry so it is in the shade bubbly and it is this kind of like rose gold shape shape shade I don't know if you can see it okay and this is how it looks. Can you see it? I'm not sure if you could see it. Uh, okay, and I am wearing it right now. I could, at first I didn't like it, but then now I do. I really like this. It has good pigmentation. It's really good. I like it. So I like this one. I'm not sure how much, um, I doubt this is the actual size, but you could go to their website and buy their original. I'm not sure how much they go for, but I like this product. I like the highlight. You can see it right there. It's pretty nice. Second product is, remember how, if you saw my Sephora sample cell, how I got this sample one, um, the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination from It Cosmetics. Well, I was, I got another sample from Ipsy, and it's the tube. I thought the Sephora one was going to be like this, but this is the Sephora one, this is the Ipsy one. I really like this product. It is, it's amazing. Um, I don't have dark under eyes, but when I like kind of swatched it on myself, it's really thick pigment like really thick um consistency and it, it's really good it's really really good I tried like on some mar like um spots that I have in my face and it really does cover it so I really like this one um 
Then it came with this Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream, which I have not tried. I've never heard of this brand either. And it says it, it is a weightless finishing formula infused with nourishing blend of Roship coconut oil to soothe hair. Enhance shine and tame frizz and heat protect damage. It smells good. I can't like make up of what it smells like, but this smells really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And in my next video, I will let you guys know what I think of this. Next, okay, I was really disappointed with this one. I was super excited to try this, like super excited to try it. But then when it came to finally trying it, I mean not trying it, but just like looking at it, I was disappointed. It is the Elizabeth Mott Matte Bronzer in What Up Beaches. I really like that. that I thought that was clever. It's this right here. Okay, I thought the sample size was going to be like the whole thing, but let me, let me break it to you guys. It's this little thing right here. Like it's so tiny. Like they could have just made it like this whole thing or the sample or like this big. Look how tiny that sample size is. It's so tiny. Okay, but what ifs? Um... It's really soft. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, you can kind of see it. It's a really good pigmentation. I absolutely love it. I'm also kind of wearing it right now. You can't really see it because it's such a small like like um portion. You cannot like. I wish they gave a bigger sample size of this, but they didn't. <sighs> okay. Oh. Last but not least, they also, in my bag, came a Luxie blush brush. And it is this brush right here. Let me tell you, like, the bristles are so soft. Like, it is super soft. I'm not sure if, like, you could see that, but it is super soft. Um, It's kind of flimsy. Like, it's really flimsy, but... I've never used any Luxie brushes, so I'm really excited to try this. Um, it's like really soft. Oh my god. This is really soft. I'm really excited to try this. I'll let you guys know in another video, or I'll let you guys know next month when I do the March bag. And that was uh, my bag, and I'm so excited. Um, kind of disappointed on like certain like really small sample sizes, but what are we going to do about it? I'm excited. And yeah. And I might upload two videos in one day just because I don't want to do one super long video. But I also got a little surprise. I, um, My amazing fiance got me some Kylie Cosmetics items. And I also have new Tarte products, which I will do a video about that too. So... I think I'll upload a different video. I'm not even doing it on the same video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe down here. Leave a comment if you got yourself a Ipsy bag too. And if you have different products in your bag, make sure to let me know. I'm excited to see what you got and what you think. If you got these same products, if you have different opinions about them, please make sure to let me know down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching.